Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog. Stampwithelaine.com. I love interactive cards, and if you do too, you love this set called Cuckoo for You. It's in photopolymer and it's on page 29 of the new annual catalogue 2019 to 2020. There is a set of coordinating dies, and if you purchase both together, it will save you 10%. This image here happens to be true to size so these dies will cut out the squirrel, the tree, the rabbit and the deer and also an autumn leaf. It will cut out the cuckoo clock, the pendulum, the handles for the push-pull tag here, I'll explain about that in a minute, the little door, the little cuckoo and um, the handles for the clock. Actually, this handle doesn't go with this image. This one you can stamp directly onto the clock, but this one is separate. As you can see here, it's a different shape. So let's gather our supplies first. You need a Coastal Cabana card base. This measures eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. That's 21 centimeters by 14.85 and folded in half. You need a crumb cake layer, five and a half by three and three quarter inches. That's 14 centimeters by 9.5. You also need a whisper white insert that measures the same. You need scraps of Coastal Cabana and crumb cake and we need the smooth selling dies and I need this banner. Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, crumb cake combo blends uh, and the light soft suede blend. The Regal's collection of stamp and write markers I'm using Real Red and Shaded Spruce and Crush Curry. The beads and baubles embossing folder, <coughs> stamparatus and a silicon mat. Now, I've already preset my stamparatus to stamp. I'm going to stamp the cuckoo clock first. The... Now I'm going to colour these before I die cut them with the stamp and write markers and I'll just speed this up. Switch stamps, um, need to stamp the door. Next I'll stamp the pendulum and then move it down a couple of notches so I can stamp a second one. Switch sides and stamp the knob. <coughs> Rotate the cardstock, and I need to do some mirror technique. I've done this many times before. In case you're watching for the first time, I'll do it again. You need a silicon mat, and then pop your stamp on and pick it up. Ink up the stamp and stamp it onto the silicon mat. More ink on the silicon mat. And pop the cardstock in. Make sure it's right in the corner so that it's in the same place every time. And stamp again. Just want to check. Now it can be a bit darker so we'll do it again. better and then and then I can stamp another one there so I need to go and die cut my cuckoo clock and this mechanism here it doesn't cut out the shape of this it only creates a slot you can see the cutting edge here and here and the hearts are so that you can position it where the hearts are 
which is the push-pull mechanism for the door. I'll pop that on while she tapes so it doesn't move. Then top cutting plate and I'm ready to run it through the Big Shot. So I'll do that off camera. And that's how this little arrow works. Cut a little aperture here but leaves the rest of the clock intact. And there's also a little slot down here. I'll also cut the other elements I need for the clock. Magnetic platform, base cutting plate <clears throat> and my dies for the squirrel. I'll only cut one way so I'll cut both of those and then one I'll use for this side and one the normal way which hasn't got a back will go on this side on the left. You also need to cut two of these. One is stamped and then just a blank for underneath. Can you see I've put two, one is at the bottom to sandwich the dimensional uh, so you've got something to grip on to push and pull it. These ones I wanted the all of the chain to show rather than hide part of it underneath. Um, so what I did was I only partially cut that. Um, I would secure that with washi tape and I only put my top cutting plate shy of the end of the die so I wouldn't cut straight through it. So that's been partially die cut and all you have to do is just cut the rest of the way And same with this one. And I also need to cut a blank banner, uh, which is from the smooth sailing dies. To create the sentiment for this, I stamped on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, but instead of die cutting it, the right way up for the door you need to position it so it's upside down when you push the flap up this flaps down and you want the letters to be the right way up there's a scored line here and you need to do a mountain fold on that and adhere it together so I'm just going to put some tear and tape on there and fold it over before I stamp. Ink it up and you want to stamp it toward the bottom. Make sure the arrow is pointing the right way up. It should be pointing upwards. Adhesive on this part but not where it's stamped. Place it in between this notch here where it goes up. Then take this uh, push pull mechanism and go down into that slot and <clears throat> out through the bottom and then these flaps you need to push it over to one side so you can get one of the tabs through and then push it over to the other side to get the other tab through like so and this piece is longer so that there's a stopper it acts as a stopper you can check it so if you push it up that will come down. Now you want to put some adhesive on the door here and attach this door to it. Push the flap down so that's showing and put some adhesive on this side of the door and pop this bit on with the sentiment. Then Lift it up again and make sure that it's all flush and the whisper white isn't showing. 
just put a tiny bit of adhesive in the middle and then you can pop your bird in. The blank piece you can just put a dollop of glue on the back and adhere it. Place a dimensional in the middle, take the backing paper off and then you can put this one that's been stamped on top. Make sure it's working. Now you need to put dimensionals on either side to create a track. I've taken the backing paper off because I need actually a double stack to make it move more freely. We need to emboss the crumb cake layer with the beads and baubles embossing folder so I'm going to use this line here as a guide to place my cardstock in shut it and this is an ordinary embossing folder so <clears throat> with the hinged head um, facing the die cutting machine you put the basic big shot platform, uh, the base cutting plate, the folder and then a top cutting plate because this isn't a 3D one and then run it through the big shot. For an ordinary embossing folder you still need two acrylic plates. Um, I'll adhere this to the card base. I'm going to adhere the clock to that. I think I might pop one just underneath here. Add one here. Now you can see why I had to do a mirror one because this is the normal one but this one had to have another image stamped on it so I had to mirror it. Pop a dimensional on the back and have it stand free of the clock face. And one for this side. Last thing to do is stamp on the inside for the card. Just use a block for it. Dark crumb cake with the bullet end and go round the tail. Then I'll go round it with the crumb cake light and blend that in and colour the rest of them in. Then use the light soft suede and go over the nut. Adhere that to the inside of the card. I'm going to pop this under the washi tape because it's so small. Line it up with the grid paper. I can't put the magnet there because a bit of paper is just too small. Put that banner in place, just ink up the sentiment and stamp. Put a bit of glue on the back of this, centre it at the bottom and there's the card completed. But before I go, I want to show you that it's not just for cuckoo clocks, you can use it for other creatures. This one, I've changed the direction of the arrow so that it's pointing this way. When it's down, the arrow is in the resting position, so you need to pull it down um, so that that will flap.
Oopsie. I forgot the handles for the clock. So let's put that on. Can't have a clock without handles. Saved by the bell. So there you have it. So thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope you've liked today's tutorial. If you like it, do give me a thumbs up. You'll find the list of supplies below this video in the show more section. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Bye for now.